today we are discussing the state bird of Florida. Grizzly bears are wimps. Hey guys, we are Sean and Christy. This is Long Long Honeymoon. And today we are discussing the deadliest animals on planet Earth. And for this one, you have to think small. <laughs> it's not grizzly bears. On average, bears kill about three people a year. Mosquitoes, more than half a million. You could strip naked, slather peanut butter all over your body and go hiking in the backcountry. You will be lucky to see a grizzly bear. I know because I've done it several times. Well, something bit you. If it's not a mosquito, I don't know what it is. Thanks for the B-roll. <laughs> Christy took one for the team. Not intentionally. <laughs> In this video, we're going to give you at least 10 really cool products we found to fight mosquitoes. And unfortunately, it's not something where you can just use one product most of the time. You sort of have to have a little arsenal with you for different reasons and scenarios. So we're just gonna give you a plethora of mosquito repellent options and you can choose what works best for you. First up, something called the Thermacell. This is a really interesting, unique device. We will definitely be carrying ours in our Airstream with us around North America. The way this works, it sets up a 15 by 15 foot mosquito repellent shield above your tent or your campsite or your picnic table or what have you. You slide into the thermocell these little repellent mats. You turn the thing on, it kind of heats up those mats and it <laughs> simulates a type of flower. We don't even really smell it. You don't use this indoors anywhere. This is purely for outdoor use. is a product that we discovered when we took our trip to Southeast Asia, and it's called permethrin. It's an insect repellent that you spray on your gear and your clothing. So you don't wanna have your clothing on when you spray it. You treat it before you wear it. But once you treat your clothing or your tents or your backpacks or your hats or any of those types of items, you basically can use it for six weeks before needing to reapply or six washes. So whichever happens first. Zika, West Nile virus, dengue fever, yellow fever. So all those really terrible things that mosquitoes carry, this will protect against those mosquitoes. Mosquito netting has actually saved literally millions of lives in Africa and in Southeast Asia. If you read Bill Gates blog, which I do advise, he writes a lot about combating mosquitoes with netting. And we have here a mosquito net that you wear. This is one of the <laughs> probably more absurd products that we found. It's a full suit. So it's basically a top and pants. But if you're gonna be photographing nature in the back country in Alaska in the middle of July, you might really wanna have this because mosquitoes are really terrible there and they can really be just annoying because they try to land on you. And so something like this, although it seems kind of crazy, you might be really happy to have it. And you can also treat it with this permethrin before you even put it on. And so you'll be even less attractive to the mosquitoes right. with that combination. I think you'll be less attractive to pretty much everything. I wouldn't wear this on a first date yeah. if I were you. But Probably not gonna pick up any chicks with that. I have to be in a pretty extreme scenario to have something like this, but some of you might be going out on global adventures and you might want something like this. Yeah. And while you're at it, <laughs> check out the handheld bug zapper. Yikes. That one gets you? That got me. That hurt. It works. <laughs> So if you put on your mosquito net suit, carry your pink bug zapper tennis racket, you'll be set. At least if you're wanting to shock people. It's shocking. It is shocking. So keep it away from small kids. Yeah, not a toy, folks. Ow. The things I do for you. Very sporting. 
<laughs> Next up, we're gonna talk about DEET. DEET is probably the gold standard that most people know about when they are trying to repel mosquitoes, ticks, those types of critters. Basically, there are different concentrations of DEET. Usually it starts at 20% and goes all the way to 100%. The percentage does not affect the effectiveness of the product. It affects the time that you can wear it. So if you have a 20% DEET, it's gonna repel mosquitoes just as well as 100% DEET, but it's gonna do it for a shorter period of time. So basically, if you have 20% DEET on, you have to reapply throughout the day, whereas 100% DEET will last, you know, 12 to 14 hours, something like that. 20% DEET is gonna have less of a chance of causing any sort of skin reaction. We have this one from Sawyer Premium, and it is a controlled release formula. So it's a 20% DEET, but it's controlled release, so it's gonna last longer. So if you're looking to put DEET on your skin to repel mosquitoes, something like this is gonna be the best thing as far as safety and not having reactions and that sort of thing. I think the downside of DEET, uh, it can dissolve plastic over time. So like if DEET gets onto your camping gear, it could cause some damage. Also, it's kind of smelly yeah. and oily. It can stain clothing with like an oily stain. It can break down like if you have a rubber band uh, for your watch, it can break that down. It can like break down the, the plastics on your sunglasses. So you have to be really careful about where you put DEET and what touches it. The other thing to remember is not to put any of this stuff on your skin that's covered by clothing. That's a bad idea. You only want to put it on your exposed skin. And the better choice for putting repellent on your skin is this product called Picaridin. I believe that's how you pronounce it. If you have 20% Picaridin, it is as effective or more effective than a 20% DEET formula. And it's much safer for your skin. Captain Picard. Yeah, it doesn't break down plastics. It's safe for fabric. So if you were to get it on your clothes, it's not gonna leave an oily stain behind. It doesn't have a bad smell. Yeah, this stuff was developed in the 80s and it kind of mimics apparently the plants that are used to produce black pepper. Yeah. Apparently mosquitoes don't like those. And what I've noticed about it, it just doesn't have a smell or odor, you can spray it on and after a while yeah. you really forget that you're wearing it. But apparently it's very effective against mosquitoes. So this would be our number one choice, I think, for insect repellent that actually goes on your skin. If you want to avoid annoyance, you know, we have these mosquito bracelets. These are DEET free. They claim to repel mosquitoes. I have a friend that wears these and she swears by them. You can put them around your wrist, you can put them around your ankle. A lot of people will tell you they're a good option for kids because they don't get it on their hands and then touch their face or something. It's sort of like a little cutesy thing that they can put on their wrist or ankle and hopefully repel some mosquitoes. Yeah. Now, if you're worried about Zika or yellow fever or dengue fever, I wouldn't be relying on these. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't go into Yukon territory solely relying on my little wrist bracelet. Right, but, but it's it better is an than option nothing. and it's something yeah. that you could pair with other repellents just for some added protection. Something else that you can use probably like at your campsite or if you're somewhere where you're sitting down and sort of making camp is a mosquito stick incense stick. It's like a mosquito repellent that comes in an incense stick. You pull it out and you light it and you can stick it in the ground or you could stick it, you know, in a cup or something on your tabletop at your picnic and it supposedly will repel mosquitoes. They have the citronella, incense. lemongrass, rosemary, cedar, and peppermint in them. So it smells really good. It's a pleasant smell. So it's not something where you're gonna burn it and you're gonna be like, ugh, this is making my campsite smell disgusting. It's actually nice. And speaking of citronella, we all know about citronella candles. You can pick these things up. These are great to have at a campsite. They smell pretty nice and they seem to work pretty well. Next, I wanna show you a pretty interesting gadget that we found. Uh, rechargeable camp light that you could bring out and set on your picnic table at your campsite but it has a built-in bug zapper you could just run the bug zapper if you want and we have tested this and it does work you can actually you can see, see all the little bugs in a, there a lot of bugs <laughs> in there and if you're just running the bug zapper it will run uh, for many many hours so, I mean you could run it overnight for example I think if you're worried about having some kind of mosquitoes or bugs inside your space like inside a tent or inside an RV these are a great thing to have they're also useful outside in your campsite along those lines 
ones, we have another little bug zapper. This just plugs into an AC outlet. I mean, the downside of this little guy is that you will need power for it, right? It's not a rechargeable battery type thing. But if you're at a full hookup campsite, you might want to plug one or two of these in. Next, the fogger. Now, this thing you could use to kill wasps, you can use to kill mosquitoes. It basically shoots out a thick fog of carcinogen, I mean, uh, some sort of chemical. Uh, it that probably is a carcinogen. Wipes out everything in its path. Use with caution. Yeah, you have to be really careful with that because you can't get it on your skin. So if there's any sort of wind blowing, make sure that it is not in the direction that you're standing and that no people are around. It can't contaminate any of your, you know, surfaces that you would eat off of or drink water out of. Fresh flow to see. Wow. Very good. My first lotus seed. Yeah. <laughs> it was good. Thank you. Yeah, you had to peel it first. We spend all our time worrying about great white sharks and grizzly bears when it's actually mosquitoes that are the true danger. You know, these are some ideas to get you started. What do you do to fight mosquitoes? Post a comment, let us know. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up before you leave. If you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button down below. It means the world to us to have you join Loloho Nation. And if you haven't, click the little bell icon next to the subscribe button so that you never miss a fresh Long Long Honeymoon video. And for those of you wondering, Loloho is short for Long Long Honeymoon. Until next say? time, Loloho. Finally, the Hutzler 571 Banana Slicer. You know, this banana slicer is so well designed and well constructed, it barely moves the air when you slash the air with it, and you can strike down a cloud of mosquitoes with one swift stroke using the Hutzler. A million uses for the banana slicer. Yeah, the 571, a classic.